we left Killeville in about nine this morning and they've just been singing and everything on the way up. So, it's, you know, it's been a real focus for them the last couple of months, which has been great, you know. And do they always sing or has today got a little bit of a different feel to it? Oh, today has a huge, like, this has really given them a mom momentum and kind of, there was a real connection on the bus, you know, between different panels. I mean, we have 13s, 14s, 15s and 16s and you wouldn't have been able to tell the difference on the bus coming up. They were having such fun and it was just, it kind of really emphasises what this day is about and... I myself wanted to create that atmosphere as well and encouragement and I mean we there was no mobile phones, no devices, we were very strict about it and it's the best thing we've done actually, it has really made the day and I think it's very comfortable for the girls to come on the bus because of it, you know. Now, I was getting a little bit of stick about it but do you know what Sorry, hold on a minute, you're a brave woman, you're a brave woman. So. You took away their phones? I took wow. away, yeah, I took away their phones. We had a discussion about it. I went back and forth. My own niece told me I was very cruel, but I said, I want these girls to, let's go back in time, I suppose, to when I was younger and we were going away in groups. We didn't have phones. The bus was, and coming from Cork up to Dublin, there was always such a big kind of energy about it. And I wanted to just recreate that. Um, and yeah, we did it. It was tough. It wasn't tough. Once we explained it to them and explained why, they were actually very much on board, so it was great. And they were, and they, they haven't stopped talking since we've left, and they won't stop talking until we throw them off it. <laughs> One question: How have you coped without your phones? <laughs> we sang Waka Waka. <laughs> yeah, we sang Waka Waka. What is it? By that? Shakira. This is Africa. <laughs> is okay without your phones? Yeah. You don't want them back? No. <laughs> There's a message there, all right. So they, they coped and you saw them chatting all the way up or was there moments where they, where they were going like, where's my phone? No, not at all. That was more the thought of it, I felt. Whereas once we got on the bus today, and next minute they were bringing on brushes and things to do all the plaits and the hairs and everything. And then we bought a speaker, we hooked it up to one of our phones and we said, girls, we'll take photos all day. We explained that we will have those images for you. We will have those, we'll go in and create the memories. And, um, you know, that you'll cherish for years and years, you know, and I just think, I suppose sometimes you can see with ladies football, there's nearly too much emphasis on winning. And if they're not winning and, you know, people being putting down the girls and I really want to make them show them how good they are. We've started with 22. I want to finish with 22 this season, you know, and that would be our goal. Like we're winning there all the ways, you know, they're all laughing at me behind there, aren't they? <laughs> but your point is relevant, especially at this age group. Yes. Yeah. And I do find that, um, this is the biggest dropout and it's something we knew we have a lot of girls coming through the club and it was something we discussed with the chairman an awful lot. How are we going to retain these girls? Like, silverware is not going to retain them. And I'm like, ask me 10 years ago, it would have been a different approach to this. To me, silverware is a bonus. It's not the goal. Competitive games, yes, but opportunities like this is what's going to keep girls playing in football. So when I saw this coming up on Facebook, I jumped a literally phone call to Mick, our chairman, and I just said, we have to be a part of this. This is amazing. This sounds so good. But we've also seen the downside of that too in Cork. You know, our success has yeah. also yeah. kind of created another, yeah. like, and our senior teams and our, like, they're so successful at all the age groups. But for yeah. such a large county, that is a small catchment of girls, really, if you think about it. You know, you're 30 or 40 on those panels. So where did the rest go?